to the maze plus pig farmer and it is now march we need to give the pigs the rest of the straw that we have don't know if it's gonna last but it's it's what we've got so it's gonna have to be enough and if we run out we'll stop getting straw i guess no big deal um we are much less critically dependent on the bge providing us income now so i'm not so worried if we run out we won't be buying straw um we'll just wait until the next time we harvest a field that produces straw we've got two this year um if we were running a map that had a bga that allowed it i would have been planting wheat in spring but we're not so we're going to be doubling up on the corn later on so the plan is the um we're going to be planting sugar beets today um and then next time we'll be planting the corn we're going to be planting a lot of corn because that's the thing that's currently limiting how many pigs we can have so, and we've got we've got enough sugar beet to last us two game years um but not if we want to expand the number of pigs next game year i'm probably not going to do a next game year um because i'm trying to reduce the number of saves that we have so i'm going to play out this year and then we will be wrapping up the maze plus pig farmer so that we can focus on playing the other saves that we've got um yeah that, that, that's the plan we will play out this year but i will work out how many pigs we get to kept and we can get an idea then of how much money we will have been making um yeah i i just want to have less going on it's um at the moment it's really hard to fit in doing any tutorials i think i've got two that i want to make and uh three that i want to make and i'm really struggling to to fit them into the schedule at the moment and so i have I, I either um it's almost like having to maybe drop a let's play video for the week to fit them in and i don't really want to do that so yeah and working towards having less and what that'll mean is some weeks we can do more videos on each series and i know this one's been really popular it's been a lot of fun but that doesn't mean we should keep it going forever um, and it was meant to be a mini series after all so yeah um, before we can plant the sugar beets we need to plow the field and we are going to be picking up our new tractor today um to do the planting with um it's mainly going to be for doing planting but what it does mean is and i should have maybe leased it for a couple of months because probably it's the only time that we need it um but i very rarely lease tractors it's something that i'm i used to do it in fs19 when i started playing and um it was right at the start and i always found it really hard to make money i was pay, I used to pay a lot to lease tractors and so i got really put off from it um so yeah but actually in this situation it probably would have been a good idea because i think if i'd have been care more sensible if i'd slept to march 2 we could have leased it for the end of march to do the sugar beets and then kept it to the beginning of april to plant the maize and then returned it but as it is i end up buying it um which is fine we've got the cash you know we made a decent amount of money off of the last um pig sale and eh, in the end it's not always about min maxing the money it's about having fun as well so yeah, yeah. that's what we've done and uh i mean ultimately uh, there was a point where i just considered getting rid of the fiat because of the issues with the three point and the things that hang off of the three point so but we we haven't actually this there's another tutorial that i would like to do as well i should make a note of that one while we're here because i keep forgetting and this this save is the one that has prompted me actually that i want to do it um, where i've been looking at finances a lot more um and it's how the value of used kit drops over time 
uh, not used, not used kit, kit you own, I guess. Um, just making a note of that. There's one that I'm missing. There we go. Yeah. Because it's been really obvious where we've been doing the, you know, updating the accounts and stuff on here. It's been really obvious that the value of vehicles is dropping significantly over over time. Um, doesn't necessarily matter unless you're looking to sell stuff, but definitely interesting. Um, and it's something that with um, with the major service mod coming out, um, quite a few people did ask, well, if I'm going to keep the tractor longer, how does the reduction in value impact if, uh, you know, it's like, well, if you're going to be servicing it, do you need, are you really worried about selling it? And, um, you know, I'm seeing even in this short period of time, big reductions in value. Yeah, this wasn't an expensive tractor, but it's losing, you know, in six months, three, four grand's worth of value. So, yeah. Um, it's definitely a factor, and it's not something that I've really thought about too much. So, yeah. Definitely one for the list to look at. I'm going to get really early this week. I want to say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. You are awesome. Um, had a few new people join recently, and that is very much appreciated. Yeah, if you're interested in any of that, there are links down below. So, yeah. I say, really enjoying playing this save still. And I've, like I said, I've spoken about it before. What I want to do when I start, maybe not necessarily when I start playing FS25, but certainly a concept I want to explore in FS25 is within a normal let's play, because it's obviously been focused around one thing, only farming pigs. Um, I want to explore on a more normal farm doing this and seeing where the money comes from um, because it's probably not where people think it is and uh, I think that's going to be really interesting and and I've, I've got frustrated in the past when uh, people have you might have heard my washing machine finish there um, you know, people, people have thought oh, I'm, I'm just going to do a whatever type of farm and then in the background they're doing contracts or they've got you know other things they're doing it's like how do you know you're making money from the thing you're focusing on when you know you can do a you know, let's say a silage contract and make more than we made off our entire farm in the first year unless you're keeping track of stuff and i've never seen anyone else keep track of stuff like this you don't know yeah I mean I'm doing it two ways here we're, we're just farming a one thing you know it literally boom the cash crop that we did that made us more until we sold the meat than we'd made the entire time um, and that was a change in feeding strategy that resulted in that rather than anything else so yeah um, so I'm going to get course play running the plow on the field that had the beets in it so that we can get this job done it's going to be put in a good position for planting the corn the corn's also going to go in the two smaller fields that had carrots last time because we've got tons of those um, yeah and now i've seen that the issue is with the um the settings i can get course play to work with this tractor which is good um, so you also may need to mess around with the settings a little bit. Uh, it's, this one, the fuel threshold, it seems to me that setting it to 100% doesn't ignore it, which it should, I believe. So what I do is just set it to a nice low number and it just does its thing. Um, I'm not sure if it's meant to be ignored 100% like the repair threshold or if it's supposed to be used with that with you know like the worker keeps fuel topped up but setting it to a low number gets it to work so that's cool as usual when I'm doing it I have the dogs with me and one of them is dreaming and kicking the door next to me which is slightly annoying um 
I'm going to sell the windrower that we brought and really didn't need. Um, I've used it once to windrow some straw, but when you look, compare the width of the header, the width of the windrower, and the fact that when we bail, we only get, when we windrow, we only get two swaths. And then when we bail, we, you know, windrowing and bailing is the same as just bailing the unwindrowed field. There's no point keeping it. So get the 12 grand back for that. Use that towards the new tractor. Um, and yeah, means we spend less on the new tractor, basically, um, which is going to be the John Deere 6170M. Um, I'm going to go for the auto quad. I assume that means it'll shift automatically, which sounds good to me. Um, I had thought it had an option for more horsepower, but it does not. So 175 is just fine. Um, it'll do everything that we need it to do. Um, it's got quite a lot of options. It's got quite a lot of options, which is cool. Um, I assume the pairs is a gearing thing. Um, that's my assumption. Uh, we're going to stick a weight on the front because we don't need a three point. We have nothing that needs a front three point. So chuck a bunch of weight on the front. It will help with things like the planter. Um, yeah, 96 and a half thousand pounds. Not bad, I don't think, for a really nice new tractor. And we're going to hook up to the planter and start getting the beets planted. And yeah, it's a pretty big field of sugar beets, but not as big as what we did last time. So yeah, we, uh, we should have plenty for next year and maybe enough to do the two years once we've got these. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I'm not planning to do a finance update at the end of this video we'll do that the next time we cross a month boundary given that we've spent a bunch of cash it's worth doing i think um, that will probably be um the next video i'll probably get the corn planted in the next one and we'll skip ahead to may and do that of course i made a bit of a mess of the the it, with the way the field shaped it set up some really short short runs at the start and i think it was just struggling to to manage those i'll just tidy up at the end it's fine it's going to do the bulk of the field and leave me a bunch of work we do need to plow these two small fields but that's, that's not really a lot of work um, they're not going to yield a huge amount of corn but it's more corn and so there's no point growing more carrots we don't need more sugar beets so we might as well plant corn in them. Um, and I could chop down the two trees and plow them into one field. Um, is it worth it? Probably not. The amount of extra land we're going to get is negligible. Um, and I'm never really a massive fan of combining fields. I'm just trying to think of the last time I did it. Um, Greenlands, I think. Which was a while ago. Um, did some field combining on Greenlands. I can't think since then. One of you might correct me if I did. Um, but I know on Greenlands I removed some hedges and combined a small field with the big field. No. I'm glad that I've gone the opposite way. I've taken some bigger fields and cut them in half. Because we couldn't afford enough land to grow the number of crops we grew needed to grow but that's kind of the opposite um, again I'm not normally a fan of doing that but we needed to grow more crops than we had fields to plant in because at one point we only had two two fields and a grass field and we needed to grow enough crops for maize plus so you know at that point I needed to split them up and we had more fields than that we didn't that's why we split them up. Yeah. Um, anyway, this is a cracking tractor. Um, I think this is the one that we demoed. But yeah, I really like it. Um, I think this this if, if I say if we were starting again, but we 
yeah, look at that. Interesting, interesting patterns of course play. Um, obviously it was a lot more money getting started compared to the Fiat. Um, but, you know, nice starting out tractor. You could put a front loader on it, 175 horsepower. It's a nice amount. Um, doesn't have the three-point issue that the Fiat has. Yeah, it's a nice bit of kit. It's a nice bit of kit. Obviously, we've done a lot of planting with one of these because we planted this most of this field with one last year. Um, planting the corn because I got fed up of all the mist bits. And we got a demo in. Um, yeah, right, it does a nice job. Yeah, it's, as always with these videos, it's Sunday afternoon, um, as is often the case. I'm uh, recovering from running quite a lot this weekend. I uh, And honestly, I was seriously debating whether I was going to record this or not. Um, so I've recorded the gameplay yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Um, but didn't edit it. I've edited the video this, this morning-ish. Um... I'm so, so worn out, and uh, I feel like I need another weekend, but I'm instead I'm getting ready to start the week. Um, relatively normal week coming up. Um, it's a relatively normal week, and then next weekend, the teenager goes back to university, which is going to be really weird. It's going to kind of suck, to be honest. Um, but we will adapt and overcome. And, uh, yeah. I guess since the last time we were here, I started a new series on the Oaks. The first video was incredibly popular. Um, Running Maze Plus, obviously, if you've not seen it, we're going to be uh, doing, uh, in, in a shock move for me, Maze Plus with cows, but um, Maze Plus with cows on a larger scale, um, but relying heavily on grazing. Um, and just trying to show off just how much land that you need to use to graze cows effectively. Just making sure that Cosplay has the right raise and lower settings, yeah. Um, because I think people often, you know, often think that you know, if you think about the, you know, I think this cow, uh, the pig penny, can hold like 500 pigs. And it's not unusual for a cow shed of that size to be able to hold 500 cows and you have this little tiny postage stamp of grass out the back and people then wonder why grazing doesn't work you can't see my air quotes when they say when they say doesn't work and actually it does it's just not enough grass and um, so we've got a mahusive field on there and um, i think it is big enough that we can graze a huge herd of cows, but it's going to be really interesting because basically the plan is we're going to be moving them around the field as they graze. And um, I think it might surprise people just how much of that large grass field a big herd of cows is going to get through. Um, yeah. Now, if you think like a a mature Holstein cow with Maze Plus is eating 4,000 or more litres of food a day because we're having a heart animal system and when they're as they peak I think it goes up a bit I'm not sure exactly what the numbers are with that when they peak but yeah so it's, it's gonna it's gonna be fun it's uh, particularly using old kit so you know, if, if you saw the the replay the stream replay or you watched the stream you know making hay with like an old ma little Massey Ferguson doing the tedding and stuff um it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, but really cool map. Really cool having the old kit. I quite like that scale of farming. Um, I quite like small farms. Yes, it's quite a small farm. That's not necessarily a small farm, but hey, um, it's going to be a lot of hay. But you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I do prefer, so I've, I've done a few big farms, and I find the problem is, I mean, Saxthorp was getting that way, it was getting a bit too big for me. Um, I find that it gets a bit, it gets a lot to manage, partly because I run a lot of saves, and like, 
it can be almost a week between me looking at them. I, although I try and make notes sometimes, I often forget. And when it's big, that becomes much harder. Um, like on here, you know, I've got like four fields. It's much easier, four or five fields. It's much easier to remember what I'm doing and what we're doing next and that kind of... And you can load the save up and quite quickly look. But when you own a big chunk of a map and you've got lots of things to do, it can... And, yeah, things, things take a long time and that kind of thing. It's... Uh, becomes a lot more challenging in in the way that I do things. So, yeah, I do like a small farm. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite, quite hopeful. Well, I'm not quite hopeful. I'm hoping that um, when with the maps for FS25, giants have more than one farm on them. Um, that would be nice. And when with with 22. Um, they had more than one farm, but they weren't playable farms. So what I did was I uh, I ripped out one of them because um, I think in the end they made it so you could sell them, so you could get the plot of land. But I, I went into Giant's editor and ripped out one of them and used it as a a a kind of template to build a farm from, and that worked quite well. It meant I wasn't doing the same as everyone else because basically at the start everyone plays. There's, there's, there's so few options; everyone does the same thing. And I didn't want to do that, so, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button. Any comments, questions, or suggestions, stick them below. Don't forget, if you're interested in picking up a copy of FS25 to use my Giants Partner Code, um, it really helped me out. And uh, I'll see you all next time for Corn Planting.